Moving on though, um, that's a, this is a great segue. College, bro. Mm -hmm. Like you just said, you you wanted to to do graduate. You know what I'm saying? All of that. Mm -hmm. Where were we from at the time? Mm -hmm. Wasn't a going to college was. Yeah, no. That she was played sports. Oh, it. You know what I'm saying? Unless so she played sports. Yeah. What what put it in your mind to be like, I'm about to do this shit. Shit. Watching um. Gucci. Okay. Watching Gucci, man, seeing that he was rapping. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, shit, my cousin had just caught a case. And I'm like, well, if I go off to school, get a degree, then I'm like, okay, then I can do this rap mm -hmm. shit. Because so, you got you got some sort of a so, business regimen at yeah, this point. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's why I looked at it, because it was just like, I got to know some kind of business. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, well, shit, I, I'm looking at Gucci every day. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, well, shit, he rap. Mm -hmm. I'm like, it's a business. And I'm knowing that he, he you know, doing it like a business. Mm -hmm. So, shit, I went to school, man. And then it was like my, it was my, um, my second chance. Because I moved out to Oklahoma City. I ain't know nobody out there. I ain't, you know, all I have was time on my hands. And then my daddy was like, well, shit, man, you're going to be a lot older than you are younger, so mm -hmm. you need to figure out something to do with your time. Damn, so, you're going to be a lot yeah. older. So, then you are younger. That is a fact. If you plan on being around, that's what he yeah. said. If you plan on being around, you're going to be a lot older than you yeah. are going to be younger. Now, if you ain't plan on being around, then, you know, it's all that's good. Shit. That's, that's a true statement. Yeah. I guess I never thought about it like yeah. that. You're going you gonna to be around, you know. So then... Uh, I went to the mall, went and bought me some kicks, and then there was a lady that was working in fucking Macy's. Mm -hmm. It's fine ass red bone chick. And uh, she told me she was going to school. I came in there, you know, I had jewelry on. I and this is in Oklahoma City. This is in Oklahoma okay. City. Yeah. She like, nah, I ain't fucking with you. She <laughs> like a nigga from the street. I don't yeah. fuck with niggas like that. I'm like, what you mean? She like, uh uh. She like, I fuck with college dudes. Mm -hmm. I'm like, college. All right, well, what school you go to? She told me. I went and rode the next day. Yeah. So, <laughs> That's all it yeah, that's, that's real. I ain't gonna lie, that's all it <laughs> Snake, you slick. That's some slick shit right mm -hmm. there. So, so what happened? What happened? What it is? I got a number. Uh, and then shit, I hit her up on like Fourth of July, some shit like that. She was riding with her dude when I hit her line. She act like she didn't know me. Played me. I, that, that was my motivation. I said I'm going to school every day, bitch. Yeah. Like I'm be clean every day. You gonna yeah, see she me? Gonna every, see, you gonna see, see me every day? Yeah. And shit, I ain't up graduating. She dropped out. Congrats, by the way. Appreciate. Oh, yeah. Appreciate. I, yeah, I went to school every day. Yeah. From that every day, like it. Only time I didn't go if it was like a snow day mm -hmm. and some shit like that. Cause mm -hmm. Oklahoma got fucked up weather. Mm -hmm. They got tornadoes and all kind of shit. But other than that. That's one place I gotta learn about. I really know too much about Oklahoma. Man, it's cool. Yeah, and I mean, one of, time. Yeah. One time. And a lot of people from, mm -hmm. you know, Texas, they go to Oklahoma all the time and got family Just out there. gamble. <laughs> but, but they got family out there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the casinos will get your money. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I don't fuck with it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, I like shooting show, dice, man. but <laughs> they don't have dice in the casinos. So yeah. It's like, I keep my ass out there. Yeah. I'll try to hold on to my little paper. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now, PSC, mm -hmm. talk to me about it, man. Player section entertainment, yeah. man. Um, I got the idea from Deion Sanders. Okay, prime time. Prime time. He was like, speaking on prime time, he was like, man, how did you come up with that? Mm -hmm. He like, man, I was in uh, my dorm room trying to separate myself from people, and I'm just thinking about when I get on the field, it's prime time. You know what I'm saying? So I'm in college at the time. Mm -hmm. How can I separate myself from you know all the other rappers? You know, because at that time. Like, it was just nothing but gangster shit. All that shit was just gangster all shit. Them. You know what I'm saying? Doom <laughs> entertainment. You know what I'm saying? Thugged out killer yeah. records. You, and know? you know what's crazy? They actually used to put a, a bad rep on college too, though. Yeah. You know I, what I'm you saying? Know, but it is what it is. Yeah, so for me, I was like, well, what's, diff what's different for me? And I was like, shit, I'm a player. You know what I'm saying? I and keep it cool. I but keep it cool. You, made your way to the you know what I'm saying? I'm like, I'm a player. I always, you know, because like, like Powerwall said it best, it don't make nobody a player because they cheat on their wife. Mm -hmm. Being a player is more like a way of life. Facts. So my lifestyle is player made, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like I don't stress out about too much. Now I go through shit, mm -hmm. so I do stress, but for the most part, it's like if I can't fix it, I can't worry about it. Facts. You know what I'm saying? If it's out of my hands, fuck it. So that's why I came up with player section entertainment because I was like, I'm in a section by myself. When I was down there, I didn't have no homeboys, mm -hmm. I didn't have nothing, so I'm like, I'm in player section by myself. So uh, that's where it came from, you know what I'm saying? And I just stuck with it. And then my, I named my first uh, mixtape Player Section Volume 1. Mm -hmm. And then when I saw the success from it, I just kept it. Mm -hmm. You know, because like I said, the first mixtape I ever recorded, I was on the radio. Yeah. 
had a song called Attack Me With Your Love. Mm. And at the time, it was this DJ on uh, Power 103.5 radio station in uh, Oklahoma City. His name was uh, Elite One at the time, mm -hmm. but he changed his name to uh, Noel Sosa. Mm -hmm. But he, he had put me on the mix show, well, from coming from the cypher, so bet. So I'm doing the cypher in Waco. My pops hit my line, he like, hey, they doing the cypher up here for the radio station in Oklahoma City, come down here. I'm like, yeah, this is right after I'm leaving the bridge from doing that cypher, I jump right on the highway, boom. I make it like super late. Mm -hmm. I'm probably in the last round. Go through that motherfucker, didn't know who it was, nobody in there, it's just me by myself, mm -hmm. you know. Rock that motherfucker. Yeah. Had the whole crowd going crazy. Came out on top. Man, came out on top. Yeah. The whole crowd was going crazy. So from there, dude was like, the lead one was like, hey man, you got a mixtape, a CD, anything? All I had was the CD that was mm -hmm. inside of my uh my tape there, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? My CD player, my car. Gave him the CD, two days later, he like, he in my line, turn on your radio. Mm. On the played. radio. And it was just kept rolling ever since then. So is it safe to say you actually have some sort of a um, following, a, a, a fan base in Oklahoma? Mm hmm Okay. That's where it, that's where it started. Yep, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? True, that's but, I, I but, started my career in Oklahoma City. Yeah, but you know, sometimes though, um, it, people blow up outside that city first or, or create a buzz outside the city first before they do it in their own city. Mm -hmm. That's why I was wondering. Yeah, that's what I did. Yeah. I created my buzz mm -hmm. in, in Oklahoma City and then came out to Waco yeah. and spread it. For sure. You know what I'm saying? But uh yeah, Oklahoma City, they fuck me tough. Yeah. When I say tough, they rock with me from all sides of the city mm -hmm. too. You know what I'm saying? From the music guys to the streets. Like, yeah. The streets, they rock with me. You know what I'm saying? They just want me to win. They hear my story. They know my story. They're like, man, you're doing something positive with your life. Keep it going. Yeah. yeah. I mean, with players, I always fall in the middle. You know what I'm saying? Gangsters gonna fuck with you and the corporate people gonna fuck with you. You saw who you are. Just keep it cool. <laughs> just keep it you know cool. Regardless Stay of in your whatever. Yeah. Keep it cool and everything yeah. gonna work out. Facts. You know? Um, shout out to Ung, by the way. I'm talking about Scooter. Mm -hmm. Crazy, we used to sit in the same chair. Didn't even know it. Didn't even know yeah, it. Yeah, man. Scooter, man, he been cutting my hair since I was a little kid. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Back when he was on uh, on the East at Motions. You know what I'm saying? So I followed him all the way over to the North. And I stayed right down the street on 16th. So I walked down all the time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, all right, so I don't really get excited about it too much. Mm -hmm. It's because like, I get excited over shit that people, uh, I guess, don't see or don't realize, right? But I remember I had just left from doing an interview with uh, Waco Tron. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, just left Trinwood and I stopped by to say what's up to Unc before I came back to here. Mm -hmm. And when I walked in that motherfucker, Easy TV was on the screen. And I was just was like, in my mind, I ain't not out, out loud, but in my mind, I'm like, damn, this shit really like taking the effect on the city. You know what I'm saying? All in there. I'm talking about tune, the kids, the, the, the old ladies, the mm -hmm. old. I'm just like, damn, that shit. D Red was on the screen. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? My so, boy, shout out to yeah, D Red. Fact. See, I, I don't know him by D Red. Mm -hmm. I know him by Damien. Okay. You know what I'm yeah, saying? You know, you that, know the yeah, government. Yeah. yeah, I know him by Damien. Mm -hmm. So when when people say D Red, it'll fuck me up sometimes. Yeah. Because, like I said, me and his his first cousin is real close. That's my dog. Mm -hmm. He got a cousin named Ducky. Okay. And, uh, like I said, we all grew up in apartments together. Me, D Red, all of us, man. We used to sleep at each other's houses mm -hmm. and all that. So it's like, I know him from, and he always was doing music, but when a person say be ready, it kind of, I'm not deep, uh, okay. Uh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, you know, it's the same thing with me. A person might say, Lil Snake, and I know him as Lil D. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So. Not as the, not as the rapper. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But they know you do both. Mm -hmm. uh, D Red talented too. Um, mm -hmm. he, he can, he can, he make it, do his own producing, make his own music, and he, he the rapper too. That's his crazy. I wish crazy I could do that shit. Yeah. That shit hard as fuck. Yeah. Come on, man. man. That shit I just tried before. Editing your music, yeah. mixing, man. That shit hard. I just, I, I can't do it, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I just tell him, up, hey, man. Don't charge me a cool price. Fuck yeah. with me. You know what I'm saying? Don't, don't don't break my pockets. Yeah. But I, all I want to do is just go in there rap. The Nero the Goat. It. Yeah. Shout out to the Nero. I got in the studio him for the first time uh, two nights ago. So we recorded two songs together. So it's just I'm just trying to build relationships with everybody from mm -hmm. the city mm -hmm. and just keep it going on. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's why it was it was a blessing for me to be on this platform. It's a platform based out the city, and you you know you rooting for the underdog. So it's just like. That's what I want to do. Facts. You know, just lock in with everybody from Sice to De Niro, you, everybody. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's just live like that. And all the artists, like, I mm -hmm. love all the artists. Like, even if I ain't met them before, you know what I'm saying? Like, you was speaking on Rayco Tron. 
he doing his thing. You know what I'm saying? He's doing his thing. So, you know, I like seeing him do his thing. Uh, Lil Wesley, you know what I'm saying? Free him. Uh, D-Red. Everybody. Big Binky. The list goes on. Mm -hmm. You know, Timo. Shout out to my dog Timo because he did mention me on this platform. And now I'm here. So you spoken in existence. You know what I'm saying? And he won the cypher back in the day, too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Timo, he a bad (laughs) motherfucker. He know he bad. You know what I'm saying? That's because the nigga is, 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 is... he uh intelligent mm-hmm. as hell you mm-hmm. know what i'm saying he be talking shit too yeah but the <laughs> thing is is like motherfuckers can't understand like how he able to be so successful mm-hmm. with the amount of work that he do mm-hmm. it's like you don't have to have a long catalog you just gotta have the right catalog yeah, the right catalog quality of quantity who do we know that has their song on the fucking game we used to grow Nobody. up playing motor Facts. this nigga is on motor he's Kombat. on that motherfucker also He's on Baller. That's a show I watch. Starting to rock. Like, that shit is crazy to me. Like So you can't, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. so I would have his same demeanor. I'd yeah. be, nigga, I'm on Motor Combat. <laughs> yeah. Like, what the fuck you talking about, nigga? The nigga from Wago got a placement on a worldwide, this historic worldwide. game. Like, worldwide. Yeah. Motor Combat. Everybody knows Motor Combat. Exactly. Get over here. Everybody knows Scorpion. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> 